Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Congregational Church of Littleton's Facebook page. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. So today we're going to do another reading in our Jesus Storybook Bible. It is called Filled Full. The Feeding of 5,000 from Matthew 14, Mark 6, and Luke 9. Here we go. There were once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside, wanting their dinner. They had come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast, stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's how it was, listening to Jesus, as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food, and they couldn't just go and buy themselves a burger and fries to, to go because, of course, they were, in the, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants. Besides, that kind of food wasn't invented yet. What would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. They don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town to buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd. He had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He, he looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw the little butt lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had. God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. As the little boy gave Jesus his lunch, Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, Watch! How in the world would Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans, and Jesus knew the one in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like that be for, so for someone like that? Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to the heaven, and thanked his father. And Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more. And more. And more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths until they were full, and still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus did many miracles like this, things people thought couldn't happen, that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God had been doing from the beginning, of course. Taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. That is the end of our story. Whoa! Could you imagine spending the entire day, hours and hours, just listening to Jesus? Ugh, people could just listen to him talk forever, right? So they all got really hungry. They didn't bring enough food. And the little boy brings his lunch. Because I have some. When Jesus asked if they could find some. Now, I wonder what you would do in that situation. There's all these people, and you have this little bit of food, and you're feeling hungry. Would you share your food with everybody? I wonder. Also, it was amazing. No matter how much food they passed out, there was always more. That lunch never ended. All that food in that basket just kept growing and growing. They'd take a piece off, back it would come. I wonder what was going through everybody's minds when they saw that happening. 
I wonder what they were thinking. I wonder what Jesus' friends were thinking. I wonder what we would think if we were there and we saw that. Huh. It really is something to wonder about. Wonder about. But as Jesus said, right? God had been doing this from the beginning. He's taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, and taking the darkness and making it light. Wow. What a great story. I really like that. I really like to wonder about how they must have been feeling in that moment. I wonder if they were excited or confused or just mystified. Can't wait to hear how you guys, what you think the how they felt about all that and what they might have been thinking. So we're going to end here and I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your evening and next week we're going to read Treasure Hunt. Ooh, I wonder what that story will be about. Good night, everybody.